Hi everybody, in this video we're going to look at how to embed your Canvas Studio content into Canvas pages, assignments, discussions, etc. So let's go to the screen. Here we are, this is where we left off. We've uh, done some screen recordings, we've added some content into our Canvas Studio library. Uh, but now we want to display this content to the students in Canvas. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our module section here. Um, now in this example, I'm going to show you how to add it to a page, um, but you can use this same process uh, sort of anywhere within Canvas. So as I mentioned before, it could be in, a, in an assignment uh, description, it can be in a discussion, uh, it can be in an announcement, that kind of thing. So to put it into a page though, let's jump into our sample page here. And like with anything, when we're going to add something to it, we need to edit it, right? So we're going to go to our edit button up the top. And here we are, we've got our rich content editor. And what we need to do is we need to find the studio button. Um, now you won't see it directly up the top here, but when you go to this plug button, so these are sort of like your canvas plugins, or it says they're apps. Uh, we can select the drop down, uh, and we can go to view all. Right now you'll see there's nothing else sort of loaded in this section. So let's just go to view all. Uh, you're gonna get a whole range of applications. We're gonna scroll down and find Canvas Studio there. So I'm just gonna select that and you'll see that brings up Canvas Studio um, straight away. So we're now here inside Canvas Studio, it's loaded up. If I close this down very quickly by clicking that X, uh, yes, I, I do wanna close that. Uh, and I select this drop down. Now you see Canvas Studio has actually been added to that drop down as, as a quick link. So I don't need to go to view all again. I can just go straight into Canvas Studio now. So I'll select that again and open it up. And again, what we want to be doing here is embedding some of those videos that we've just added to Canvas Studio uh, into our page. So I'm going to find the video that I want, right? So I've, I've got all these ones here that I've created. Uh, I'm going to find the video that I want. So in this case, let's say I, I'm going to select uh, this one here. This one that says test recording. So I, I press select and you'll see first before I embed it, it's going to give me a few options. Um, so first of all, do I want to display the media tabs? So what are the media tabs? Well, that's going to give you the options of say things like um, seeing who's viewed them, uh, adding in comments. So you, you know, if you don't want comments, for instance, um, on your video, if you don't want that to be visible on the page, then you may want to toggle that selection off. So it's just the video on its own. Um, but if you do want things like that, um, then you want to turn that on. So make sure that's that's green there. In this case, I want to leave it on because I want to show you some more things about the comments as well later. Uh, we also here, we have the display download option. Right now, this is turned off. Um, but if I toggle that on to be green, that's going to allow anyone who has access to the page to download that video. So that might be a really good idea um, if you have got video content for students, because sometimes streaming on the internet can actually be quite difficult, to, you know, also depending on where those students are. Um, uh, you know, might use a lot of their bandwidth. So if they can download it uh, at a time that's more convenient to them and, and watch it offline, that's really handy. So in this case, I'm going to leave the download option on. Uh, and I'm going to select embed. So once I Im press embed, you'll see that loads up into my page. So I'll press save here. Make sure you always save your, your edits. And here that here's that video on the page. And again, this is that section I was talking about when we, when we talk about um, that media tabs, having that on or off. So if I had selected that, that toggle off, um, you, we wouldn't have any of these these options. So here we've got the comments. Um, if you don't want those, you, you can toggle that off. But uh, since we have these comments toggled on, let's take you through now as well how to add comments to your to your video. Um, so very simply when you know you can add in a comment uh, using the buttons here so I can say great video and add that in fairly standard. However, there is some pretty cool features within this that, that I think will be worth talking about. One of the things that's handy within Canvas Studio commenting is that it's actually time stamped. 
Um, so for instance, let's say I go halfway through to this video, we're at seven seconds. Um, and maybe within your video, there's uh, you're explaining a particular concept um, and a student can even say, um, you know, um, thanks for explaining this. Oh, I'll add in the S there and press comment. And you'll see they've actually, they, their comment is actually timestamped to seven seconds. They might even also say something like, um, can you explain this again? I'm confused. And let's say, let's change the, the, to the where we are in the, in the timestamp there. Let's say it's happening at 11 seconds. So we'll comment again and you'll see there that that comment timestamp is now at 11 seconds. So uh, if you're coming back to this video and looking at your students' comments and you see something like this that says, can you explain this again, I'm confused. Um, you can actually click straight on that timestamp and it's gonna take you to the very moment that they commented. Let's finish and that will finish your recording. It's just like I've done there. Um, and the other thing as well is when you scrub through this or when you're playing through this, those comments will actually come up in the video at that timestamp as well. So this makes it um, a great way to, to use Canvas Studio in a sort of more interactive way. So it's not just about the students watching the videos, but it also allows you to have that, that dialogue back and forth about whatever the content is in, in the video or, or audio file. Uh, but there's a few other things as well that will be good to, to know about this too. First off, you can select the subscribe to comments function on. Uh, what does that mean? Well, that essentially in your notifications, so in your account here, if I just go to the account and click notifications, um, there are settings within the notifications to, to alert you um, to comments. Um, and so by selecting subscribe to comments, um, you're, you're basically enabling uh, notifications for whenever comments come up on that video. So you may want to know when a student has commented on a particular video um, and you want to be able to respond to that in a timely fashion. So if you, if that's the case, then doing something like subscribe to comments is, is quite helpful because then you'll know when people start commenting. You can also um, have the bookmark on. Um, so if you make a comment or if someone else makes a comment, and you select that on so it's so it's got that purple filled in color um, that means you'll get notifications if someone replies to that particular comment so in this case i've made this comment here and someone would reply to that um, and then once they've replied because i have this turned on um, i'll get a notification for that as well but maybe you don't want notifications for that maybe you 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 know you don't want to see that. So you can select that off. You'll see now it's it's, it's not filled in anymore um, and you won't get notifications for that. As always as well, the pen or pencil icon is going to allow you to edit. So you can go back in um, and, and edit that. Uh, and you'll see there, it'll come up with that it's been edited as well as the fact that you can delete as well. So we can use this trash icon to press delete and press confirm delete and that will go as you can see though from that example my comments gone but the reply to my comment has actually stayed um, so interesting to remember as it won't delete the replies it'll only delete the specific comment that you've selected so that's how you use the commenting feature um, within canvas studio once you've embedded um, these the, those videos into Canvas. And so in the next video, we're going to take you through how to add uh, closed captions to your video. So this is really important when it comes to accessibility. We want to make sure every student um, has equal access to, to whatever that media is. And so having closed captions is um, one way of achieving that.